back with a weekly report for the orientation and galactivation as in the galactic activation of your self where you are in this world on this planet as a galactic citizen coming into the knowledge of hey I'm not alone here we flow a beautiful clarity has begun for you your mental physical and emotional bodies are undergoing a definitive star language sometimes sneaks in that happens we do eat still regular so meaning you're detoxing on a very high level some of you have some weight problems right now weight issues either either crazy weight loss or you can't lose weight or digestive issues um, that has to do with your body right now saying hello we need to change something and it doesn't matter what your trend is you have to go by what Gaia tells you right now my resonance so your your physical body is running more energy and all the most emotional issues are being released from the cells once this cleanse is complete you can look forward to experiencing more joy and contentment in the life this clarity also brings with it a deeper understanding of your purpose here on earth and you are being renewed and every cell in your body is actually being renewed in every way imaginable so i'm going to the uh, galactic heritage uh, this week what are we healing we're healing the lemurian area area and era so lemuria and atlantis you call them islands let's say we call them eras not errors where things took place in the timeline for earth in its completion okay so the Lemurian life that you're healing here right now has the following. This era, spanning approximately 13 to 26,000 years of what we know here. It is much, much, much older, but we just give you a little bit of a, how do you say, a lead way, a platform, so the rational mind can grasp. It goes far back. It represents the feminine principle in a planetary cycle. The civilization was awakened to its spiritual self and its place in the universe. It was a time of peace, compassion, and enlightenment. Beings from other star systems openly walked the planet and assisted the development of humans. This feminine cycle of civilization is now returning, so we are seeing old ways crumbling. This is a natural cycle of planetary development. You pulled this here, me, today to be reminded that you used to be Lemurian and you used to be magical and you used to be a magi or male or female or androgynous whatever being you were and let yourself explore the idea of Lemuria more in depth if you never heard of it and Lemuria was before Atlantis Lemuria was the spiritually advanced and spiritual technology assisting level and Atlantis was where technology began to surpass the spiritual development which is what Earth is recovering from now spiritual advancement has to surpass technological development so this can be science and magic in one level so the how do you say card for this week is jade the crystal jade uh, look into what that means for you and the color and um, also check if you have a jade crystal in your household if not I suggest you get one I will read to you your healing journey. If Jade has come to you today, it is time to take notice of your dreams. This can be relevant on two levels. The first relating directly to the dream state that occurs when you sleep, and the second to your goals and ambitions in life. Whichever it is for you, the message is the same. Listen, assess, and access, and then act accordingly to embrace the necessary changes you have to make, which are called action steps. Both the above levels of the word dream interact often, giving rise to each other. This little fact is often overlooked. Write down all that occurs while you sleep. You may just be creating your future. Jade only comes into life when we need to know that anything is possible, when we are truly limitless in our abilities to manifest in the now, because now is the time to live your dream into realization, whatever it is. Take steps. So the rest of us can see that this is possible. This is the most sacred stone of the ascended master Seraphis Bey, and he may be calling you. 
The affirmation for this healing journey this week for you is, I confidently walk the path of my dreams and my shadow is infinite light. This is what you carry. The key words in this healing journey for this week are your dream work, Mayan calendar, the Mayan time quality, not the Gregorian time calendar quantity, the Mayan culture, Asia, ancient knowledge, physical love, astral travel, act on dreams, ambition, some suppressed emotions to be expressed in dreams as they're being released, limitless self, and the jade mask. So as in suppressed emotions or carried information that our ancestors left in us. I'll give you a little bit of a dream that I have since we have more time. I just want it's a little bit quicker because it's more compact what's happening. You're being really, really cleared in there are things for you that work. There are things that are undone that do not work. It makes no sense to run from them. They will eventually catch up to you. Whatever you did in the past leaves a repercussion. If you're not healing the fractal, with an excusing, excuse me, or I took that, I'm giving that back, or sorry for, for me taking this, or I said this, or I stand corrected. The fractal will basically, it's like, like the wing on an airplane going, and all of a sudden your airplane is going, yeah, because you're not clearing the fractals, and the fractals want to be cleared. So one that I had that I wasn't even aware that I carried that, even though I had three ayahuasca sessions, thinking that I'm like, or I have flies here, so that happens thinking that I, I'm in control and I've had enough visions and I've seen enough in that realm to understand myself or little did I know cleansing myself taking organic sulfur and I will do a report on that which is very important organic sulfur nothing different if you want to really just the base level of cleansing but I I'll do another video on where I explain in a wellness reality check what that actually means so I'm going to bed and all of a sudden I am this being that can fly and levitate and whatnot. People are on the ground, they look at me. And I'm looking at this little planet. It was like, like I don't know, sapia type colors. And I was like, why is that that um, you run this planet into the ground? So I said, um, I don't like that, the way this is run. I want, I want to change. So I actively levitated in there and changed things. And then I saw World War II soldiers walking in my direction, aiming with guns at me and uh, pointing at me and shooting. And I don't know how my subconsciousness did that. I see the bullets coming and then it went and the bullets stopped just like Neo in the Matrix. And I said, this ends now. It is time to go home. So what happened was, is the bullets turned into golden flowers, like lotus type flowers, blooming and blossoming in my direction and then turning into this golden dust that kind of like started swirling and going up into the air and then the soldiers were kind of like this turning around and they walked into the light I'm assuming walking home and I felt this great relief going to my grandma my grandfather from the German side who lived under the Nazis who had to hide who had to uh, help people and lived under fear for many years not knowing if that would ever change for them and had to feed their kids and survive that area that era so i guess part of that cell memory was imprinted in me even though i'm afro-american german apache and i'm part juggernaut so i'm like how does that work well i saw it i believe i went into my subconscious and i i feel that i heal that so if you have strange strange dream, dreams like that then um i think that you're healing that on a very very deep and profound level and right now with this full moon the healing is profound the cleansing is profound allow it to happen do not engage in any combat or discussions of what is be loving be peaceful be physical in loving ways with people and partner or partners or wherever you are peace and respect and love to you all my supporters all my uh, friends followers friends, good friends, people that I am in personal contact. I love you more than you can imagine. I'm the kid in the sandbox that's merely sharing the toys of, hey, look what I found. And let's all play together. And if one can assist, we all can assist each other because I believe we can see when something has a negative undertone and we want things to stop. So let us make party together, live life together, heal. This is a tough month. I know that. 
but it's going to get better but it's not going to get better overnight it's step by step so towards the, the end of this year those who have lost a lot of weight like me because of stress and people uh, uh, attacked us on all levels whether it was with guns I kid you not or or gun carrying people or threats or whatever you have when you're online you're an open target you have to process all of this uh, as you are nonviolent being there are no weapons in my home just so people to know I don't believe in that stuff whoever wants to create that reality that's the reality that they want to go I believe in a peaceful living together in harmony harmonious planetary system opening up to other planetary contact and don't forget disclosure is you and stay safe this week be peace be love and remember when I say this I really love you I really do from my heart and that incoherence see you on the flip side and check my next videos coming up peace